In this screencast, I'll show you how to implement Euler's method in Excel. Now, the reason you might want to use Euler's method is to solve a problem with an ordinary differential equation. So we've got a, a generalized example of what this is. So if we've got an equation of the form dy by dx equals some function of x and y, it could be x plus y or any other type of function, then we can use Euler's method to work out how y changes as x changes. We'd also normally be given some sort of boundary condition. So for example, that would normally be when x equals 0, we'll be given the value of y. And this is all needed so that we can try and work out how y changes in relation to x. So one way of doing this is with Euler's method. And we work out how the function changes in small steps. And we choose how big those steps are. And the step length is referred to as h. And to progress in x, to make a step in x, we simply add on the value of h from our starting point. To progress in y, we need to use this formula here. And we have to evaluate the function at the, at the particular values of x and y that we've got, multiply it by the step length, and add on the value of y at that particular point. And that will allow us to progress in one step in y. To show you how we can implement this in Excel, I'm going to use the example shown here. So we've got f of xy equals 3 times e to the power of minus x minus 0.4y. And our initial value of y, our y0 is 5, so that's the value of y at x equals 0. And we'll use the value of 0.5 as our step length for this example. So this table here is where we're going to do our calculations. The first column is called i. We don't really need this, but it just nicely demonstrates the different steps that we're making. So as this i value, this counter, progresses, we can see how the value of x and y progresses. To work out how x changes, we just simply add on the value of h. So each time we're adding on the value of h, and we see that x changes from 0 to 0 0.5, 1, and so on. The value of y is the next thing we need to look at. The initial value is 5 because we've been given that. And to progress in y, we need to evaluate this function as I mentioned earlier. So first of all, let's evaluate f of xy. So we need to do 3 times the exponential of minus x minus 0 0.4 times the value of y. And that gives a value of 1. To progress one step in y, we have to use this formula. So our initial value of y plus h times by the function there. And I'm just going to use a dollar sign on the 4 there as a placeholder. And that allows us then to work out what the next value of y is going to be. If we copy this function down here, we'll be able to work out the next value. And if we just copy all of these down, in fact, it will make all the steps all the way down now. So each of these is of the right form. We're taking the previous y value, adding on the function that's been evaluated at that position times by the step length. And so we can see we've progressed in y in small steps there. If we plot a graph of x versus y, we can see how this changes. So we've got y on this axis, x along the x-axis, and we can see how in taking small steps we see how the function progresses. Of course this is only an approximation, the true function will be slightly different from this. One way to get closer to the true function, the true values, in the, if we had the, an exact solution for this, would be to make the step length shorter. As we make the step length shorter, we get closer and closer to the true function. But of course that requires more steps and more calculations, so there is a trade-off between the two. Overall, that is how you implement Euler's method in Excel.